electronic paper and e-ink technology. Did you know that electronic paper is a display technology designed to copy the appearance of ordinary ink on paper? Conventional blacklit displays like LCD panels emit light. So they are visible in the dark. But electronic paper displays using e-ink technology reflect light like ordinary paper and are only visible when there is available light from outside. Some modern technologies are able to hold static texts and images on a screen for a very long time without using electricity. They are thus like newspapers or books which don't turn blank when there is no power. Among them, electronic paper or ink display is considered to be the most comfortable to read. They are even better and sharper than LCD displays. This is due to the stable image which has no need to be refreshed constantly with the help of power unlike LCDs and has a wider viewing angle so that it can be read in direct sunlight without the image appearing to fade. Electronic ink is actually a straightforward fusion of existing knowledge of chemistry, physics and electronics to create this new material. In 1970s, Nick Sheridan at Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center first developed electronic paper. The first electronic paper called Gyricon consisted of polyethylene spheres between 75 and 106 micrometers across. Each sphere was composed of negatively charged black plastic on one side and positively charged white plastic on the other and thus resembled a bead with one white side and one black side. The spheres were inserted in a transparent silicon sheet with each sphere floating in its bubble of oil so that they could rotate freely. Each sphere was controlled by a pair of electrodes attached to both sides of the silicon sheet within which it floated in its bubble. When a positive charge was applied, the black side faced up and when a negative charge was applied, the white side faced up. Thus, the white or black appearance of each pixel containing a sphere was determined by the nature of its charge. In the 1990s, Joseph Jacobson, who later co-founded the E-Ink Corporation, invented another type of electronic paper. Their technology is currently available commercially in grayscale and color in the name of E-Ink Triton and is commonly used in mobile devices such as e-book reading devices, mobile phone and watches. In this modern technology, millions of tiny micro capsules about the diameter of a human hair in size make up the electronic ink. They form pixels or tiny dots of a display device. Each micro capsule contains thousands of positively charged white particles and negatively charged black particles kept in a clear fluid. You can imagine it as a big transparent ball filled with many small ping pong balls of black and white. When a positive or negative electric charge is applied to microcapsules through the electrodes at the bottom corresponding particles are repealed and moved to the top of the microcapsule where they become visible to the user. This makes the surface appear white or black at that particular spot or pixel. 
The microcapsules are held in a layer of liquid polymer sandwiched between a transparent electrodes layer on top and a layer of electrodes circuitry beneath the microcapsules. The electrodes circuitry forms a pattern of pixels that can be controlled by a display driver which turns the electronic ink on and off at specific pixels by applying voltage to a specific electrode point thus creating images and texts. E-ink has certain advantages. A 12 inch LCD cube device uses around 36 pencil batteries in 20 hours while an electronic ink 12 inch display device use just one battery for the same duration. Thus the power supply for an e-ink cube device can weigh a few ounces compared to a few pounds when it comes to its equivalent LCD counterpart. The implication for product design are dramatic. If we could replace all paper newspapers with e-newspapers tomorrow, it would save 9.5 crore trees which could remove 9.8 crore ton of greenhouse gas each year. Weight is an area where e-ink displays can claim advantage over LCD displays. For instance, the current 9.7 inch display is about 27% higher than the similar sized LCD screens used in tablet PCs. But electronic ink technologies have a low refresh rate compared to other low power display technologies such as LCD. This prevents producers from implementing sophisticated interactive multimedia applications such as fast moving menus mouse pointers or scrolling etc which are common features on mobile devices